Vice Chancellor of the Simon Diodong Dombo University, Professor Philip Dukose, has underscored the importance of monitoring and evaluation in the country's quest for development. Speaking at the launch of the Young Impact Associates program in WA, Professor Dukose hinted that Cabinet will soon pass a policy to guide monitoring and evaluation in Ghana. Rafik Salam, once again. The Young Impact Associates YIA program is an initiative under the Mastercard Young Africa Work Strategy aim at giving young people practical and theoretical training on monitoring and evaluation to make them competitive in the job market in Africa and beyond in order for them to have a dignified life. The Simon Diedon Dombo University of Business and Integrated Development Studies, SDDU Bates, went into partnership with participatory development associates, PDA, and Mobile Web Ghana, to equip these young associates with unique monitoring and evaluation technique with particular focus on indigenous African-led evaluation techniques. Dr. Frederick Dayur is the SDDU based coordinator for the YIA and he shed light on the selection process of the 100 students that were trimmed down to 13. We're looking at uh, ages of 18 to 35 and that's actually the how do you call it the youth Ghana youth policy prescribes uh, that age range for young people so we went by that and so some were dropped again then we went through uh, an online selection process where they were interviewed from there they went through uh, a face-to-face -face, uh, selection process which was done in Accra. They wrote an exam as well so it was quite a rigorous process and we empaneled five uh, panelists who did the selection and we came to 18 of them who are now Young Impact Associates for the program for 2022. Vice Chancellor of SDD UBITS, Professor Philip Duku Osai at the launch of the program underscore the importance of monitoring and evaluation in the country's quest for development. The cabinet is just about to pass into a policy that will be the guiding principle for conducting MNE in Ghana. We have also tried to shift the base for doing MNE in the public sector by moving it from the office of the president to a ministry for monitoring and evaluation and back to the office of the president. M&E in the public sector is of utmost importance to the president. The reason why he has caused this movement back to where he can visibly see the actions that are taking place. Impact Lead Mastercard Foundation, Maryland, and he was stated that the program is being rolled out in seven other African countries and urged the young associates to make good use of the opportunity given them. The Young Africa Work Strategy is to enable 30 million young women and men in Africa to secure dignified and fulfilling employment in order to achieve, and in order to achieve this goal, the foundation will do the following. We are designing country-specific strategies. We are hoping to empower young women. We want to work with African organizations. We want to use technology to drive impact and scale. And finally, to share evidence-based knowledge and innovation. Some of the young associates share their thoughts with your news. But uh, coming here, and then throughout the process, I realized that it's, it's a very great program, and then it is something that I love to do. And um, with my passion and interest in research, I developed that from uh, my national service with Institute of Statistical, Social and Economic Research, University of Ghana. And so when I saw this opportunity, I was like, wow, this is a great one. And then to broaden my research knowledge, yes, so I took up this opportunity. Considering the fact that I have had my attempt to join a consultancy firm turned down because I have no knowledge in monitoring and evaluation. So when I had this notice, the advert on monitoring evaluation project carried out here, I slot in my application and I was very happy because I believe at the end of the day I'll be equipped 
with the necessary skills and expertise to carry out mountain evaluation exercises within the continent at large. Reporting for the news, Rafik Salam. Wow.